Okay, today is going to be a quick little review of the Soda Rework Station that I did an unboxing of just a while ago. Uh, basically, is this what I want to do is I want to just show, go ahead and just show you the, the good things and the bad things about this, how to use it. I'm just going to give you a little quick walkthrough of the front display here. So let's go ahead and start with the um, air side, the air gun. So over here you have a little three digit display, you have your little air speed dial thing right here, you have a little on and off switch down here. Uh, attached to it is the wire. The wire does not unplug like the solder, um, like the, the soldering iron does. The soldering iron, this little plug right here, you just unscrew it and it just comes straight off. For the hot air gun, it doesn't do that, so that is kind of a bad thing, but and it doesn't really matter. It's up to you. For me, I dislike that, but it doesn't really matter though. Uh, to turn it on, you just hit the little switch down there at the bottom. It's going to give you these three lines here. Now, as soon as you take it off, the fan is just going to automatically just start turning on. It's just going to heat up to the preset temperature that you set it to, which was 185. As soon as you put it back on, it's just going to, let me turn it up so you can hear that. As soon as you put it back down, the fan is going to keep some, it's going to keep spinning, but the heating element is going to turn off and it's going to lower the temperature down to 100 degrees and after that it's just going to shut off. So it lowers the temperature down before it shuts it off. That's kind of a good thing. The same thing um, for the iron side. Let me go ahead and show you the soldering iron. Soldering iron is right here. That's the soldering iron. The soldering iron does not do that when you put it back down inside the station. Whenever you take the soldering iron and you turn it on, it stays at that temperature. So if you set it for 200 degrees, it's going to stay at 200 degrees no matter where you put it. Now if you turn it off, okay, of course it's going to turn off as well. But if you, keep, if you keep this right here on, if you keep the switch on, it's going to stay at 200 degrees. It's not going to lower it down. So... That could be a bad thing, but it doesn't really matter too much for me. It's up to you. Some solder rework stations, uh, when you put it back inside the holder, it automatically just turns the iron off, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, over here you have the three buttons to enter in the temperature. Just press that. The, the digit is going to blink. You have it up, down arrow right here, so that's up, that's down. Now it does have a maximum temperature of 480 degrees for the, um, it does go low as 100 degrees. For the solder side, it goes as low as 200 degrees and the maximum temperature for the solder side is around 400 degrees. So that's that for that. Um, on the back, it is a, it does come with a fuse on the back. So if something does happen, you have a, you have a protected fuse in the back. So the fuse will blow stopping any breakers inside your house from tripping. Um, I did try to play around with that. Turns out the fuse doesn't work. It actually tripped the breaker. So, man, I don't know what's up with that. That is a problem, but I'm not going to worry about it, though. I'm going to go ahead and turn this soldering iron off. Turn this right here off as well. It does come with a couple of tools. It comes with this little thing right here. This is used for uh, chips like this. Like, let's say, for example, I want to take this Arduino chip right here off. What I'll do is I'll heat it up with the hot um, rework. I'll heat it up with the air gun. I'll take this little tool that comes with it. I'll push it underneath and just pick it up. This tool sucks for that. I recommend getting a dedicated tool f to do stuff like that. Don't use this tool. I don't know why they included it like that. Basically what it is is it's a stick with uh, like little wires on the end. Don't use this. It sucks. Uh, it does come with a couple tips as well. Here's one tip right here. Okay, that's one tip. That's the smallest tip that they offer. And then here's another tip inside the plastic bag that I haven't even used yet. This still inside the plastic bag. Um, it does come with another tip as well, which is much more bigger than that. But I just don't have it. I lost it. I don't know where I put the thing at, but it doesn't matter though. Um, the tips, they work pretty good in certain situations. I usually don't use the tip. I, I usually just use it like this without the tip on there. I just use the tip like that. So I don't I don't even put these little things on here. I use it like once or twice. I was like, nah, screw it. Um, here is a little tool that they use to get these tips right here on and off. There's three notches. You just line the notches up with the with the notches on the on the tool and you just put it like that and you turn it. Turn it like this. Now this tool right here, it doesn't do 
a good job at that. I recommend just using like a pair of pliers if you're gonna use the tip um, to get it on and off. Don't use the tool that comes with it. It sucks. Just like the rest of the stuff that comes with this. The only thing that doesn't suck that comes with this is the um, soldering iron tips. These tips here, they're meant for the soldering iron. So this is basically the only thing that doesn't suck so far. I use two of these tips and they do the job just great. Um, even the tip that came with the soldering iron, which is this one. This one came on the soldering iron already. I used this tip and it was pretty good. And I just switched it to use a different tip, which was this one here, if the, if the camera will focus on it. There we go. Which was this tip right here. Uh, it worked pretty well as, as also. So, these tips so far, they work pretty good. I haven't had any problems with any of the tips. They hold up. They heat up pretty fast. They melt the solder like they're supposed to. Everything works pretty good. So, the only thing, though, is it does come with a warranty as well. Chinese warranty, don't even bother with the warranty, <laughs> but even though this is warranty, even though it doesn't look like it, but it is, yeah, that is your warranty card, don't even bother with that, because it is in Chinese, so, yeah, it doesn't matter, um, here is your instruction manual, half of your instruction manual is in Chinese, obviously, because this does come from China, um, so there you go, half of it is in Chinese, the rest of it is in English, so that's kind of good, but, one thing you know about the instructions, the instructions, they're not that great. Um, they're decent, okay? It's not something to be amazed by, you know? So, if you really want to learn how to use this thing, just try and, just, it's just try and error. That's the best way to put it, try and error. Uh, just go through it, figure out how to use it yourself, because you're not really going to learn too much from the instructions. The instructions is good to look at, just to... Uh, review a couple of things maybe you forgot something or maybe you don't know how to set the temperature properly you might want to go ahead and read the instructions but it, other than that it's not too not too fancy you know it, it's it doesn't talk too much about the the thing it's just a couple of pages like look at this thing you see how thin that is right there it's just a couple of pages thick it, it doesn't have a lot of detail in there it's good enough just to just to talk about it eh, it's whatever basically the instructions are whatever it doesn't matter um another thing too i want to point out i'm probably you're probably not going to be able to see this but there are two holes right here on the side there's a hole right there and there's a hole right there um that hole is for this stand so i'm going to switch it back around this stand right here the stand that the hot air that the hot air gun is on Right here, let me take this off so you can see the same more, more easy. This stand right here screws into the screws into the solder rework station. Um, there's two screws here at the bottom. Undo those screws and you can switch it from side to side. So you don't have to have this on this side. You can take it off and put it on the other side over here. And I thought that was kind of cool that they did that. So you can choose what side you want it on. I like it on this side, so I just kept it like right here on this side. So. Yeah, that's that. Um, it does come with a nice little stand. It's whatever. It's a pretty nice little stand. It's all plastic. It does have metal at the bottom of it, though. Um, it does come with like a little sponge down here. So, that is that. Uh, so, that's basically everything you need to know about this solder rework station. It is a really good solder rework station. It heats up really fast. Um, it takes chips off of boards, which is what you're going to probably be using this right here for most of the time um yeah it does everything that it needs to do so yeah that's gonna be it for this video peace out don't forget to rate comment and subscribe to see more videos just like this one so yeah that's it